Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a skincare haul. The sort of the things I'm trying at the moment, the things that you can look forward to seeing a review on in the future. Just a bit of a sit down, a chit chat, and just going into these new products, which I either discovered, been sent, purchased whatever we're going to talk through them what my initial thoughts are not going to be a full review it's just going to be a little bit of deep dive into the things i'm testing at the moment so that you guys can know what's coming down the line in terms of reviews on this channel and again sound off in the comments below if you've used any of these already because i'd love to feedback and incorporate your thoughts into future reviews that i do I don't want it to be a super long video, so I'm gonna get straight into it. And there's no real particular order. I'm just gonna get into it and let's start with. First things first, something I have already done a sneaky little bit of a mention on the channel before, which is these products. These are the um, ingredients line by Boots, which is the pharmacy drugstore here in the UK. I'm really sorry because I raved about the glycolic acid toner on the channel about couple of weeks ago and quite a lot of you were like boots never heard of it can't get it here in the US I'm like oh I'm really really sorry I thought you could buy these in the US I try to only include in reviews and videos things that can be bought across the world because I think there's nothing worse I've done it myself you watch a YouTube video and you get really excited about product you log on and it's not shipped to your country and you think right all the excitement's gone rubbish I didn't realize these weren't available in the US but I am still trying them. Um, they come in this gorgeous, gorgeous packaging here. Uh, very simple, very sort of utilitarian, streamlined, glam. Quite the ordinary, inky list, that kind of vibe, I love it. Super cheap, they sent me these, which was really kind. I've raved about the toner already, so I'm definitely, definitely gonna continue using that. But I'm still testing out these. This is the salicylic acid, and this is the vitamin C. If these work, they're five pounds each and so they are a fantastic dupe for some much more expensive products that are out there so i'm testing them to work out whether i get the results whether i like the consistency and just whether i like the product so wait you will you won't be disappointed i will do a review on the whole line sort of in the next two to three weeks give it a chance for me to actually work out whether i like them uh next oh some of the keen out amongst you will have noticed I mentioned this, which is the Q10 Intense Serum by CN. Sounds like quite a posh, bougie brand. Glass right there, heavy packaging, you get quite a lot of products. You think, okay, this is a bougie luxury product. It's not. This came from Lidl, which is like the bargain basement dirt cheap um, supermarket here in the UK and was £2.79. This Q10 Serum, life changing. Gorgeous formulation, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous to use. Really good and cheap and affordable Q10, which I swear by. Absolutely love it. This and the Q10 by the Inky List are just amazing products. If you want to have an antioxidant in a cream formulation, sort of like a cream serum, this is go-to. So I went back to Lidl in the hope that I could buy loads and loads of their skincare because I've been reading about it online and everyone says it's amazing. Of course, they were sold out. The one thing I did get my hands on was this, which is the CN, same brand. Um, Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream. Do I need this much Q10 in my life? No, but I do like a good thick moisturiser, particularly in winter, which I know we're coming into summer here in the UK, but I do want to test it out and try it for winter. So I'm giving this a go. First impressions, smells really, really good. It's sort of, it's a very light fragrance. Now, obviously, a lot of people prefer unfragranced. I totally get that. I actually quite like when I'm going to bed a little bit of fragrance in what I'm using. I either spray like a lavender mist on my pillow or I like something just to kind of send me to sleep, calm me down, that sort of aromatherapy quality to it. I get it. A lot of people don't like that. So if it's unscented, if you like unscented, this won't be for you. But smells divine. The texture is gorgeous. It's sort of like a whipped, barely there cream. It's, it is quite occlusive and yet it's not super heavy, which is really, really rare to find. Um, and I absolutely love this product so far, but I'm going to do a full review, give it a chance, wear it, see what has happened. Absolutely love it. Next, this is really weird. I But I, you've heard me speak of Evolve Organic Beauty on the channel before. And I love them. As a brand, they're organic, they're natural, they're cruelty-free, they're vegan, they're everything that a lot of people like and is quite big at the moment. They also do some beautiful cleansers, the Melting Butter Cleanser. 
I love. Well, I bought this, it flashed up on Facebook, and who hasn't gone on Facebook and you get those ads and they're always super targeted to you. It's really spooky how much they actually know about you. And it said about this, and this is their hand sanitizer. And I thought, you know, with everything going on at the moment, I probably should buy a hand sanitizer. We're going out more here in the UK. They've re reduced some of the restrictions. We're going out more. Should have a hand sanitizer to pop in my bag, pop in the car, take with me. And they convinced me to buy this. This is £12, which is ridiculous for a hand sanitizer. However, I used it and genuinely, like, it's beautiful. It somehow manages to not dry your hands when everything else seems to dry my hands out. And it, like, it's the level of alcohol. In the UK, you have to have 70% alcohol for it to be effective, or according to the um, government advice. So it's 70%, which is fantastic. And it, usually, this sort of product would dry out my hands. This doesn't. It's moisturising and it smells gorgeous of bergamot. Well, this is a skincare, so I'm not going to review it. No one wants a boring review of a hand sanitizer. Though if you don't mind spending a little extra money, I would recommend this one. Gorgeous. What I did do when I was buying this hand sanitizer is spend £120 on other skincare. So actually, I mean, the marketing is fantastic. You go to buy hand sanitizer, you come out with 15 different products. All of them gorgeous. I bought a mask from them. They're gold mask. I don't know if you've seen it advertised. It's like a gold coloured mask. It's supposed to cleanse. It's supposed to tone. It's supposed to firm. Bought that. Um, I bought some melting butter, another one of the melting butter cleansers. So I'm going to do a full demo for you guys on that one. Um, I bought a serum from them. I just basically maxed out on all their products. So they advertised hand sanitizer and they got a good customer out of me. Um, so I'm going to be trying all of that. I'm super excited about that because I love, love, love their products. Well, the ones that I've tried. So I'm super excited to like try more. Other things I've um, ordered but I hasn't arrived yet is the um, Purito Comfy Water, which I've mentioned before. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Everybody says it is like the best SPF, barely noticeable, hydrating, yet not greasy, goes on like a dream, it smells like everything. Everyone just says it's supposed to be the best SPF. It has finally arrived. It came this morning and I missed the mailman. I've been waiting for this for two weeks. We're in a lockdown, so I can't go anywhere and somehow I managed to miss the mailman. So I'm furious and now I've now got to go pick it up from somewhere or have it re-delivered. So tomorrow it will come and I will start testing it. So that's something to look out. I'll leave an image of it there for you so you can see kind of what I mean by it. But I'm really excited to try that. Also, oh, a little box of tricks here. So um, Baja Basics are a fantastic organic, natural, just all very ni nice, ethical company from the States, they're based in Texas. And they reached out and said, can we send you some stuff? And I said, yeah, sure. If you want to send some stuff, I'd be grateful. They sent me a whole ton of products. I've mentioned their rose water because their rose water mist, I haven't actually got it on me, is gorgeous. I love that. It's a light spritz. You can keep it in the fridge. It's refreshing. It's 100% natural, so it doesn't have that awful chemically rose smell. I love that. And their collagen booster serum, I've mentioned before, because it's just a peptide fix that just supercharges your skin into telling it to produce more collagen. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous product. They also sent me loads of other stuff, which I just haven't had a chance to try. Not because I'm not excited, but so we've got here, we've got their book, C. Bookthorn Facial Serum with Tea Tree. This could be my dream and I don't know why I haven't tried this yet actually I've just seen this in the box I was really excited about the facial serum and the collagen boosting one because I've heard people rave about it online so I kind of jumped to that and started using that I actually don't know why I haven't used this yet so this is supposed to be great for acne tea tree I love brilliant brilliant essential oil for antibacterial antimicrobial great for people with acne let's see what it smells like has that light, 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 light tea tree smell, which I love because I kind of associate it with clear skin. And I mean, it's yeah, great. And it's got seed book thong, which is super calming. So I love that. And it's a serum. Let's have a look and see actually what, oh, it's quite dark. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that. Put a drop on my hand there. Let's see if it goes in. Cause I don't like anything that's too greasy. Oh, that smells divine. No, that's a brilliant dry oil. That could be beautiful for people with oily skin like myself. And I'm a grease slick at the moment. As you can tell, if you can see the sun streaming in, gorgeous out here in the UK, but absolute grease slick nightmare for me. That, I'm gonna give that a really good go because that looks really good. What else have we got? We've got the prickly pear cactus seed oil. This, I've seen loads of people go mad about prickly pear. I'm not a huge facial oil fan. I'm too greasy for it normally. The tea tree, I think actually could be my rescue. I'm too greasy for this. So I am going to give one of the, this one, the prickly pear, across to my mother who loves this sort of thing. And so she can try it out and I can let you know what I think, what she thinks. This is the collagen boosting one. I've already used that. I love it. Already really like it. 
and then they've got the jojoba oil and the rosehip oil now oils are fantastic everyone loves a facial oil i don't hugely agree with them on my skin because i'm a bit too greasy i'll definitely be using the tea tree one that's fantastic i love the collagen boosting one i think i'm going to try these out on some friends to see great for the hair a lot of you know it's warm here in the uk sun uv damage split ends nightmare oils fantastic for that so i think i'm going to give a few of these away get the people's feedback so i will be reporting back on these for you so there we are we have some very very oh and i've forgotten before i start um, L'Oreal sent me, you saw, if you've seen my Face Mask Friday video, I'll link it up there. They sent me the Brightening Glow Mask by L'Oreal. I love that mask. I absolutely love it. They sent me five of each of these, these little travel ones. I'm actually going to buy the full size jar of it because I love it that much. I haven't tried this one. What's this one? The um, This is the Calming and Soothing Rescue Mask. Um, I tried the charcoal one. Really didn't like it. Not a fan. This I'm going to give a go because I loved, loved, loved the brightening one so much. I'm hoping that this, the calming and soothing one, would be perfect. Especially after maybe you've done a bit of a robust exfoliation. This could be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to give this a go, try it out. I might use it in one of my Face Mask Friday ones coming up. Brilliant. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's give you a little insight of the sort of the things I'm trying. I'm loving a lot of new skincare at the moment. I'm kind of over the established brands. All of these little indie companies are sending some great product through. And you know what? I'm all about supporting the little guy. That tea tree. Beautiful. I'm all in favour of supporting the little guy and people that really care and are passionate about skincare like I am. Not some of the big conglomerates. So... Do you know what? I'm super excited about trying some of these. Um, we've got some supermarket in there. We've got some drugstore. We've got some slightly high end. We've got some oils. We've got some cleanser. We've got great stuff to try. So I'll be bringing you reviews on all of these. Let me know. Leave a comment below if there's anything else you want. You guys have fed back that you really want a review of Clinique and Revolution. I have a lot to say about both. So I'll be planning that in the future. So that's something to look forward to. But add anything else in that you want me to review and I will happily get onto it. Guys, thank you for listening to me. I know it's a bit rant. I know it's a bit chatty. But we'll try out different styles of video. It can't all be you know, formulaic and well planned out. <laughs> so I hope you like this sort of video. Let me know what you think. And wherever in the world you are, take care. Give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.